Hey everyone, and welcome back to Tarantella AI, where we break down the dizzying dance of developments in artificial intelligence. It's Saturday, October 4th, and the pace of change is not slowing down. Today, we're seeing two major stories about AI accessibility, but that's already hitting a wall of backlash in Hollywood and the creative world. Plus, we'll dive into a geopolitical chip war and a massive $80 billion bet on AI infrastructure. First up, two big moves that put powerful AI directly into the hands of more people. The online marketplace giant eBay is rolling out ChatGPT Enterprise to 10,000 of their top sellers. This isn't just a basic tool, it's being used to draft compelling product listings, handle customer messages, and analyze sales performance. It's a huge sign of how generative AI is becoming a standard, practical tool for mainstream business. And speaking of accessibility, Perplexity AI just dropped the velvet rope. Their AI-powered web browser, Comet, which was previously a premium-only feature, is now free for everyone, worldwide. Think of it as a browser that doesn't just find links, but synthesizes information on the fly, and they've already announced a mobile version is on the way. But as these tools spread, the friction is becoming impossible to ignore, especially in the creative world. The headline-grabbing story is the debut of Tilly Norwood, the first fully AI-generated actress. Hollywood actors in the union sag after are furious, calling it a direct threat to their jobs and raising alarms about AI models stealing their likenesses without consent. This really crystallizes the debate. Is this innovation or is it a high-tech way to replace human artists? This fight over creative rights extends to the tools themselves. OpenAI's video generation model, Sora, is facing new criticism. While they've blocked the use of major copyrighted characters like those from Disney, their system relies on an opt-out policy. Japanese anime and manga creators are pointing out that this is totally inadequate, arguing their work is being used to train these models without permission. While the creative world wrestles with these dilemmas, Wall Street and Silicon Valley are seeing nothing but dollar signs. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos weighed in, calling the current investment surge a good bubble. His take is that while some companies might fail, the underlying technology is so transformative that the overall boom is a massive net positive, and that good bubble is fueling an incredible race for infrastructure. On the chip front, a multi-billion dollar deal between NVIDIA and the UAE is reportedly stalled, five months in, highlighting the geopolitical tensions tangled up in the AI supply chain. At the same time, the sheer scale of the investment is staggering. The investment giant BlackRock is reportedly considering spending up to $80 billion to acquire data centers and the power assets needed to run them. And we're seeing this optimism reflected in the markets globally. In China, AI enthusiasm has sent Alibaba's stock soaring over 120% this year, boosting broader indexes by 40%. Finally, beyond the market frenzy, we're seeing some genuinely incredible applications. In healthcare, a new AI model called DTGPT is showing incredible promise. It creates a digital twin of a cancer patient from their medical records to predict how the disease will progress and respond to treatments. In early tests on lung cancer, it has already outperformed existing predictive tools. This is a powerful glimpse into the future of personalized medicine. And circling back to Perplexity AI, they're not just releasing a browser, they're trying to build a more sustainable information ecosystem. They just signed content deals with the Washington Post and six other major outlets. This means Perplexity can legally use their premium content to provide answers, and in return, the outlets get a cut and attribution, a proactive attempt to solve that tricky problem of AI search taking traffic from original sources. So what's the big picture? AI is simultaneously becoming a practical tool for an eBay seller and an existential crisis for a Hollywood actor. The money flowing into the space is almost beyond comprehension, fueling both market rallies and geopolitical tension. The pace is relentless, the stakes are getting higher every day, and we're all watching this new world get built in real time. What story stood out most to you? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more from Tarantella AI. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.